This video demonstrates endovascular aneurysmal repair of an infrarenal abdominal aortic aneurysm along with bilateral common iliac artery aneurysm. Coil embolization is performed of the right internal iliac artery and an iliac branch device is used for left common iliac artery aneurysm. Our patient is a 77 year old gentleman shown here is the CTA of the abdomen and pelvis. Visualized here is a 4 cm abdominal aortic aneurysm. A 4.2 cm right common iliac and a 3.6 cm left common iliac aneurysm is also shown. Patient was also found to have aneurysmal dilatation of the right internal iliac artery. A meniscus needle followed by a micropuncture wire and sheath were used to access the right common femoral artery. A Benson wire was then advanced into the descending thoracic aorta. It then upsized to a 12 French sheath using a super stiff M Platts wire on the right side. A meniscus needle and wire was then used to access the left common femoral artery. It then upsized to a Benson wire and a 6 French sheath. This was followed by exchange for an amplat super stiff wire and placement of a 16 French sheath through the left common femoral access site. We then introduced an endo snare from the left common femoral artery access site. This was done to snare a wire from the right common femoral artery providing through and through wire access from the right common femoral to the left common femoral artery. This would later provide support for our sheath to be brought over into the left common iliac artery and to allow for placement of the internal iliac artery stent. Next, a pectal catheter is introduced in the abdominal aorta. An abdominal aortogram and pelvic angiogram is then performed to better delineate anatomy. We then introduced an iliac branch device from the left common femoral artery access site. And this is then partially deployed into the left common iliac artery. Next, a sheath is brought in from our right common femoral artery access site and then placed into this partially deployed iliac branch device into the left common iliac artery. We then proceed with cannulation of the left internal iliac artery for our iliac branch device system. A burnt catheter and soft angle glide wire is then used to cannulate the left internal iliac artery. Once the internal iliac artery is cannulated, a stent graft is then brought in place and placed in the internal iliac artery. Prior to Deploying this stent, we performed an angiogram to make sure that the stent is in appropriate position in the left internal iliac artery. Once the appropriate position of the left internal iliac artery stent is confirmed, we proceeded with deployment of this stent graft. Balloon angioplasty of this internal iliac artery stent graft is then performed to make sure proper opposition of the internal iliac artery stent graft to the walls of the artery. Angiogram is then performed to make sure good blood flow to the internal iliac artery and successful deployment of the stent graft. We then completed our deployment of left common iliac artery branch device. Balloon angioplasty of the iliac branch device is then performed. We then proceeded with performing an another angiogram. This was done to provide adequate landmark for our coil embolization of the right internal iliac artery. Using a combination of burnt catheter and wire, we were successfully able to cannulate the right internal iliac artery. Once this cannulation was performed, 
An angiogram was then performed to better delineate the anatomy of the right internal iliac artery system. He then proceeded with performing coil embolization of the right internal iliac artery using multiple push coils. An angiogram is then performed demonstrating coil embolization of the right internal iliac artery. Another abdominal aortogram is then performed to proceed with completion of our infrarenal endograft placement. Through the right common femoral artery access site, a main body is introduced into the infrarenal aorta. This is positioned just below the renal artery. We then follow with deployment of the main body as shown in this video. Once the main body is deployed, we will proceed with cannulation of the contralateral gate. Using a combination of a burnt catheter and soft angle glide wire, the contralateral gate is cannulated. A pigtail is introduced and rotated 180 degrees to ensure adequate cannulation. A contralateral limb is then brought in place and is used as a bridge between the main endograph and the iliac branch device. This limb is then deployed. This is followed by deployment of the main body and extension of the ipsilateral limb using an extension limb. This limb is then deployed. We then proceed with balloon angioplasty at the aortic neck and areas of overlap to make sure adequate seal of the endograph and iliac branch device to the arterial wall. Once this is completed, a final completion angiogram is then performed to evaluate for any type 1, type 2 or type 3 endoleaks and to make sure successful exclusion of the abdominal aortic and bilateral common iliac artery aneurysm.